today is our science fair. Um, we have the last two days the children have been working extremely hard from kindergarten through sixth grade, uh, working on science projects that were competing against everybody else in the school. Um, the winning projects that the children have from today's experience and from the judges coming down are projects that are going to be sent representing our school in the Brookhaven National Laboratory um, 2013 Science Fair. We have, for each grade level, there will be one child that was selected um, that is going to be sent representing Tangier Smith Elementary School. So there will be somebody from kindergarten, first, second, third, uh, all the way to fifth grade. Those children will be going to compete at the Brookhaven National Lab amongst other schools um, for the you know for the final award. I would say approximately seven to eight hundred students are in the school have participated. It's a very very rigorous process, and the way that we had it done this year was we had seven volunteers come from the high school uh, intro to research class. The volunteers were given the rubric that Brookhaven National Lab supplies and they meticulously examined every single one of these projects and to the T they marked everything on the rubric and they found one winner per class um, and then they made one winner for the entire grade level so every class got an honorable mention but that one winner they went against everybody else in their grade level and it was all criteria based and we're really proud to have those students be demonstrating their projects at the science room. We study about planting and watering, and we let it sunshine. And it took a long time to let it sprout. We did we have tiny pieces that are really tiny. We want a little bit. We want a little bit. We want a little We want a little tiny. We want a huge. We want a huge. We want a huge. We want a watermelon, sunflower. I am. Beyond excited, I got the let I got the letter sent home. I actually have it with me. And when I opened up my daughter's um, folder, I get this letter, and I'm like, uh-oh, it's you know, it's addressed to me. And then it says, "Dear Ashley, congratulations, you're the first place winner." And my daughter really, you know, we were we were going through some books and trying to figure out what to do for the science project. And my daughter saw this, and she's like, "Let's do it." You know, even though it was it was a voluntary thing, and I said, you know what, this is wonderful. You know, for her to get a, a, her you know feet wet with um, the science fair, and I think more young women should be involved with science. So, I mean, it's mostly geared for the boys, and I think you know the girls need to show up and do do some work. And um, each day we went, to, we had gone to Target, and we picked up all the materials. I brought the book, and I'm like, let's see what kind of materials we need. So she was involved the whole entire time. And um, we went home and then we, we conducted the project. We actually did it twice because I wanted to make sure it worked the first time. And then we took, we took pictures and then you know, we put it all together and you know, she, you know, she helped me with it. So but we went through the project and then I, told, I asked her, you know, what would you like to write? And it is for kindergartner and kindergartners. And then you know, I just typed it up for her and then she helped me glue and paste you know, the pictures and everything on there. And she's, you know, she was really excited to do it, and I'm really proud of my daughter. <laughs> she was stunned, you know, and, and I don't think she really like understands like, or comprehends like what happened. And I'm like, we're going to the Brookhaven Lab, and she knows about the Brookhaven Lab because I used to take her to summer Sundays, so she knows about the bio bus, and you know, I always try to get her involved in everything with with school. I think it's very important. It's the foundation. Education is the foundation for success. I'm very excited for Ashley, as you can see. <laughs> she worked very hard on her pro on her project. Um, I've never seen one like this before, growing something edible um, without using soil. So I thought that was a really good project. And um, she, um, as you can see, you were able to eat food that was and grow food without um, using soil. So I thought that was great, and you learned a lot that way, right? She was one of three students who did an independent project, so she went above and beyond what she needed to do. She stood in front of the class and she explained her project to the other kids, and she did it in a way that made us understand that she knew about her project, what she knew her goals were, and we're very proud of her. The whole class did clap for her. We learned that she was the first place winner kindergarten. We are very excited for her to go to Brookhaven Lab and compete with all the other students who are also first place winners, and we are, will hope that she comes home with the first place prize. I have to dissolve the water to make the egg float. We call it a blue marker because it wouldn't work out with white. I noticed that 
the more salt I added to the glass of water, it made the egg float higher. Do fans cool the air? Um, research question. Does a fan really cool the air? Wind chill effect. The fan makes me very cool.